some of us like attention more than the rest of us and there is nothing wrong with that if you are the type of person who wants your fragrance to get you attention every time then this is definitely the video for you so just keep watching Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I personally am not the type of person who likes to get a lot of attention on a regular basis. But every now and again, I know that if I pull these fragrances that I'm going to share with you out, I know it's going to get me attention in a good way. So I figure I should definitely share these with you all. So let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. So this first fragrance is Mancera Instant Crush. So I actually wore this the other day to work and it's not one that I typically wear to work because I know it's an attention grabbing fragrance, but I wore it and I got a lot of attention that day. <laughs> so this fragrance is so good. This has saffron in it, so it gives it that sweet and spicy smell. This also has some woody notes to it, and it also has an airiness to it. Now, I feel like I can't talk about Instant Crush without talking about Baccarat Rouge 540 because they have been compared so much. Not so much anymore because nobody's really talking about Instant Crush anymore. But this does smell like Baccarat Rouge 540, but it's deeper and it's spicier and I think it's sweeter. It smells like a more full fragrance than BR 540, the original. But anyway, I love this particular fragrance. I do think it's hard for me to explain how it smells, so that's why I really wanted to throw that little comparison in there. But this is one you definitely should get your nose on, get a sample. You should be able to find a sample anywhere. Samples are sold pretty much. Or blind buy a bottle. If you know you like BR540, then you could probably safely blind buy this and it's not that expensive anymore if you look for it on a discount but even if you pay full price for it i think it's priced really reasonably anyway this smells good this i get lots of compliments on every single time i wear it even if i don't spray a lot i don't tend to overspray this fragrance because i know it's heavy and it's projecting so i don't personally overspray this but if I did, like nobody will be able to say anything like to me at all, <laughs> all day. Like this is that type of fragrance, very good performer. And it just, people seem to like it, even though I don't think it's probably the easiest to like scent. People seem to like it every time I wear it. I cannot wear this without getting a compliment from strangers, from coworkers, from patients, wherever. I get compliments every time I wear this fragrance. So I definitely wanted to mention this because this is one of those fragrances that if I want to stand out, this is one of the fragrances I tend to reach for. So again, that is Mancera Instant Crush. So this next fragrance is kind of surprising that it's on this list, but hear me out, I'm gonna explain it. So this is Nishane 100 Silent Ways. So this is a white floral fragrance, but there is some vanilla and some fruit in this as well. I think peach is the fruit. Overall, it gives it this very like sweet, creamy, gourmand take on a white floral fragrance. To me, the florals are not, I mean, they're there, but they're not sharp. This is all very well blended. It's so good. It just smells like a juicy, fruity, white floral fragrance. It's beautiful. But the reason I say that this is probably surprising that this is on my list is because this is not like the heaviest fragrance. You can overspray this. You can go ham. You're probably not going to offend anyone. I think this is a very likable scent. But for some reason, every time I wear this, I get stopped by people. I get stopped by people and I don't really go ham on the sprays, y'all. I, I overspray, but when I see some of the other ladies here on YouTube say they overspray, like they really overspray. I don't really go as hard as a lot of the ladies here. So I don't think I go overboard with this fragrance. If I had to guess how many sprays I do, I would say maybe about 10 or so. <laughs> but every single time, Somebody stops me and asks me about this. And that could be women, it could be men. It gets people's attention, but I really don't know why because it's really not that beastly of a fragrance. But for some reason, it's just very attractive to people apparently, or maybe it's just the way it does it on my skin. I don't know, but <laughs> y'all let me know if you have this fragrance, if you get the same type of reaction. 
People love this every single time I wear it. So this is not something I wear if I don't want people to talk to me. Like, <laughs> cause somebody's gonna talk to me. Somebody's gonna ask me for the name of the fragrance. Somebody's gonna talk, compliment me. And yeah, they go out of their way whenever I wear this fragrance. I don't, I don't know what it is, but they, people go out of their way to compliment me whenever I'm wearing this. So again, this is Nishane 100 Silent Ways. This next fragrance is one that I have loved for many, many years. And I honestly don't talk about it much because I felt like I could include it in so many of my videos. And we don't wanna just talk about the same fragrances, right? But when we're talking about attention grabbing fragrances, I would be lying if I did not include these fragrances. It's two fragrances, but we're kinda of counting them as one. So let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Tom Ford Black Orchid and the Parfum. So I love both of these. Of course, Black Orchid is the original. Um, this is the older Parfum. I've had this one for years and years and years. But as of the last couple years or so, I have reached for the Parfum more, maybe because it's newer, but I honestly find this one a little bit easier to wear. But they are so similar that you really don't need both of them. So I'm including them together because both of them get the same type of reaction from people whenever I wear them. So the original Black Orchid is another one that is hard for me to explain the way it smells, but I feel like this has been around so long that most of you all probably know. It is spicy, it is dark, it has this truffle note to it, kind of smells a little bit chocolatey, and you definitely have some patchouli there. It's kind of all over the place, to be completely honest. It, it really is, but the way the notes come together, it just works. And every single time I wear this, and I definitely don't overspray this. Every single time I wear this, somebody compliments me or somebody asks what I'm wearing. And sometimes if it's somebody who knows their fragrances, they say, are you wearing Black Orchid? <laughs> and I have to say yes. So definitely had to include this one. When we talk about the Parfum version, this one is a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit boozier and it has more of a plum note to it. So it has a little bit more fruitiness to it, but a deep dark sexy fruit it's not a fruity scent by any means so these are really similar though so you definitely don't need both but both of these fragrances garner me compliments and comments every single time i wear them they are not for the faint at heart these are show stoppers whenever i put them on speaking of tom ford i have one more tom ford fragrance to share and this is effing fabulous so this fragrance is quite controversial but there is no denying that it is a attention getter now am i saying that everybody's gonna love this on you I'm not saying that because I kind of feel like this is kind of a hard to like, I shouldn't say hard to like fragrance, but this is complex. This is not gonna be for everybody. But if this works for you and you wear this, you know how much attention it gets you. I've gotten a lot of compliments while wearing this fragrance from women, from men, and it's surprising because the people that typically compliment me on this are people that, well, the ones that I know anyway, they're people that you think they like very feminine smelling scents and this is not feminine by any means so this one is quite strong it has this kind of leathery note to it but it also kind of has this powdery feel to it there is also a greenness in this fragrance and again there's a lot going on there's a lot going on in this fragrance this is not one you should blind buy this is not one you should even smell in store because i will tell you initially when i smelled this fragrance in store i just thought it smelled like burnt rubber this is one you have to spray on your skin. So if you go in a store and you wanna smell it, spray it on your hand, let it sit for about five minutes or so, and then make your judgment or walk around with it. You know, you have to get a feel for this fragrance. Do not smell it out of the bottle. It does not smell the same as it does on the skin. But I happen to love this fragrance. I do have to be in the mood for this fragrance though because I know when I wear this, I'm trying to make a statement. Or even if I'm not trying to make a statement, I'm going to make a statement with this fragrance. I do not overspray this one, but people always smell it on me. And like I said, people always compliment me on it. Hopefully nobody thinks I smell bad, but I know a lot of people don't like this fragrance, like in general. So I don't know, maybe it smells different on me or maybe I'm just around people that are not rude enough to tell me they don't like my fragrance. <laughs> anyway. I love it. So this is effing fabulous from Tom Ford. The next fragrance I have is from Zerjoff and this is Dolce Amalfi. So this is my spicy, juicy fruit gum fragrance. That's what it kind of smells like to me. So this is sweet, it is fruity, 
It has the note of quince in it, which I've never eaten a quince. Don't really know how it smells. But to me, when I smell this, it smells like tropical fruits, like a, a mix of tropical fruits. But then you have these spices like clove and either nutmeg or cinnamon. So like those kind of Christmassy type spices, Thanksgiving type spices mixed with this sweet tropical fruit scent. Doesn't sound like it will work but it does this is quite unique i love this fragrance i really wish i would have gotten a larger bottle and this is one that on me it performs really well i heard somebody say that they um that this was very soft to them but on my skin this like goes everywhere i do not overspray this every single time i wear it somebody's complimenting me and this is one of those fragrances that i really heavily smell on myself the entire time i'm wearing so i get a lot of enjoyment out of it but apparently others do too. So for me, this is definitely an attention grabbing fragrance. So again, this is a Zerjov Dolce Amalfi. This next fragrance is Amouage Sunshine. Again, this is one of my favorite fragrances. Like this is my, one of my top 10 fragrances out of my entire collection. I love this. So I have done a review on this fragrance a long time ago. I will try to remember to link it for you all, but this fragrance to me is gorgeous. It smells like apricots in my opinion. It does not have an apricot note in here. I think it has osmanthus in it, which is a floral note, but sometimes osmanthus can smell like apricot. And I think that's what I get when I smell it. So it kind of smells like a honeyed apricot scent. It has a little bit of spice in there, but not too much. It also has a white tobacco and you can get a tobacco type smell, but it's a very clean tobacco smell. I don't know what white tobacco smells like. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how people <laughs> think they know what all these notes smell like. Like, have you ever smelled white tobacco in nature? Like what even is that? But anyway, I digress. I don't know what white tobacco smells like, but I know what tobacco smells like. And this smells like a cleaner take on that, like a cleaner version of tobacco, fresh tobacco, not like smoking tobacco or like a cigar, not that heavy. But anyway, this all just kind of blends together very well and it just works. There's also something that kind of smells almondy in this fragrance, but I would not classify this as an almond fragrance, but I think it kind of just adds to the texture and like goodness of this fragrance. So anyway, this fragrance is not like a beast. I actually layer this typically with either an oil or I layer it with Juliet Has a Gun Sunny Side Up. If you all have that fragrance, they don't smell the same, but I feel like they go together really well. But even if I don't layer this fragrance, I still get a lot of compliments on it, even though I never feel like it's a really heavy fragrance. I think because it smells so different than what people are probably used to smelling, like in your average everyday life, that it stands out and it always garners me compliments. People ask what I'm wearing. And yeah, I, I love that because I love this fragrance. And this is one of the ones that like, although it's an, it is an attention grabbing fragrance, I love it so much that I still feel like I can wear it pretty easily. Some of these attention grabbing fragrances, I really have to like make a conscious decision to wear because I don't always want that attention. But one like this, I feel like it's a little bit easier reach for me specifically, even though it does garner me a lot of attention. So again, this is Amouage Sunshine Woman. This next fragrance is one that a lot of people will be talking about soon because people seem to love this in the fall, winter. This is from Replica and this is By the Fireplace. So this fragrance is beautiful and to me it smells like you are at a campfire so it smells nutty it smells a little bit smoky you get that vanilla as well that sweetens it up and when i smell this it honestly reminds me of the candle marshmallow fireside from bath and body works but in a fragrance version they don't smell exactly alike but they smell very similar to me i happen to love the way this smells i know it's not for everybody but I happen to love it and every time I wear this, again, I spray lightly on this, every single time I wear this, somebody says something about it, that they like it, or they say it smells like, what was it? Nobody said it smelled like a campfire, but one time I was wearing this and I think somebody said it smelled like cookies or, no, or 
bread i don't know i can't remember exactly it was some sort of food which i didn't really agree with but i knew they were talking about me they didn't know it was me but i knew it was me because i was like in a small area so i knew it was me and then i've also had people say or ask me if this is what i was wearing so i feel like it's a fragrance that a lot of people love and they can pick it out easily if somebody else is wearing it but i happen to love this fragrance and i typically wear it around my house for like me but i know if i wear this out somebody's gonna have something to say hopefully it's a compliment but <laughs> If it's not, it's okay. I love it anyway. So again, this is by The Fireplace. The next fragrance that I have is a newer one to my collection, but it's already made its way onto this list. So this is Angel Nova. This is the original version. And this is a tart, sweet raspberry scent. It does have a floral background. I believe it's rose. And it also has some woodiness to the base, which I happen to love because that woodiness to me just really helps ground this fragrance and makes it more special in my opinion and I, I love the way this smells it's tart and it's sweet and it's bold without being heavy it's still quite a quite feminine scent and I don't think it's hard for people to understand but they still love it <laughs> again every time I wear this I get compliments and I feel like people just always smell this on me and I don't overspray this one too much honestly I think it performs really well without me having to go ham on the sprays but people always mention this I remember one day I was wearing this and I picked my kid up from summer camp and uh, my kid's teacher was like oh my gosh you just smell amazing you just smell amazing and at the time they were outside so I didn't even walk into like the classroom to get them I walked outside to like the play area where they were and as soon as I walked out there the teacher was like oh my gosh you smell so good so <laughs> Again, this fragrance would be perfect if you like to get that attention, but you like still very feminine scents. I think this one would be great for you. So again, that is Angel Nova. The next fragrance is from Initio, and this is Oud for Happiness. So this fragrance is different, y'all. It's different. So obviously by the name, we know there's oud in there, right? So it has that oudy smell, but it is a very smooth, very high quality smelling oud so if you've ever smelled any oud from initio you know they just they just know how to do it it also smells like there's some saffron in this fragrance i'm not sure if there actually is but it smells like it to me but what the main star of this fragrance is for me is ginger the ginger in this smells quite fresh and quite bright and not sweet at all like not like ginger candy but like fresh bright ginger and i love it to me this is just very uplifting and this fragrance also has a green note to it as well so i know this fragrance is not for everybody and honestly when i smelled it i thought it smelled masculine but when i tried this on my skin I fell in love after about five minutes of wearing it. The first spray, I was kind of like, oh, it does smell masculine. But after it settled on my skin, that ginger really started to bloom and I love it. So this is one that I cannot wear without getting a compliment or getting some sort of reaction out of people. <laughs> I've never gotten a bad reaction from this fragrance, but I'm sure like if people are walking by me. Not everybody's going to love it, but every time I wear this, I get a lot of compliments. I don't overspray this one again. I don't need to, but people, this really stands out to people, I think, because it smells so different and because it's so beastly. This is a heavy projector, so not, definitely not something I would want to wear if I didn't want people to know I was wearing fragrance or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> this one I have to be in the mood to wear because I don't always like that type of attention. So again, this is Oud for Happiness from Initio. And this last fragrance is none other than Initio Oud for Greatness. <laughs> so this one came first. It came before Oud for Happiness. And this was actually my very first Initio fragrance. It's the one that started it all for me from Initio. I think I now have six of them. <laughs> but yeah. I love this fragrance. Again, it has that oud, and the oud is really on display in this fragrance, but it's so smooth, and the saffron is sweet and spicy, and it just smells so, so good. There is also a little bit of a leathery touch to this fragrance, and it, to me, it smells slightly boozy as well. So there's kind of a lot going on, but it just works really, really well. And this is one that if you love fragrances, you should definitely go try to smell you may not like this for yourself, but I definitely think this is one that if you love fragrances, you should get your nose on it just for knowledge of how it smells. And I think it smells amazing. 
I get a lot of compliments every time I wear this. This one is a little bit too much for me to wear it in the heat, but fall, winter, this fragrance is gonna get it. Like this is gonna get it when I want to stand out. So I typically would wear this on like a date night or to a party or something like that. For me, I don't really wear this much during the daytime because I think it's a lot. It's a lot. And like I said, I'm not the type of person who really loves a lot of attention on myself, except, you know, when I'm feeling a certain kind of way. <laughs> So um, for me, this is like nighttime appropriate only. But if you like attention, like there's nothing wrong with that. If you like attention, wear this, wear this. It's gonna get you some attention. You don't even need to overspray it. But if you overspray it, you might get the wrong kind of attention, honestly. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just kidding. This is Oud for Greatness from Initio. So those are my attention getting fragrances. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Is there a fragrance that you go to when you want that extra attention, when you want all eyes to be on you or all noses to be on you? Let us know your attention grabbing fragrance in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you made it this part far in the video and you are not already subscribed, go ahead and do it. It's free and I upload three days a week. So there's always something on my channel for you to watch. Also, if you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me over there. I like to chit chat with you guys in my DMs and in my story. So definitely check me out on Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.